Is this you? Would you like to be able to do this? If so, then you need to use something in Moodle known as groupings. Let's take a look at a course. You see here that in section 1 I have all the work for class A or group A and in section 2 I have all the work for class B or group B. This is perfectly fine as it is if you don't mind your students seeing each other's work but if you don't want group A even to know of the existence of group B's work and vice versa then you need to use groupings. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure that your Moodle administration has groupings enabled. In Site Administration, Miscellaneous, Experimental, make sure that Enable Groupings is set to Yes. The next thing to do is to go into your course and down in the Course Administration block where it says Settings, make sure that the course is set to Use Groups. So if we go down here and click on Settings, I can show you where that is. If we scroll down here and if we make group mode either visible or separate groups and then save changes. After that we need to make sure that our group A and group B students are actually in official Moodle groups. There are various ways to do this. I want to show you one way and point you in the direction of another easier way. This time we need to go down to the Course Administration block and click on Groups. You can see that I've already set up one group, Group A. It has two students in it. So if I was to do this manually to make Group B, I would scroll down and click on Create Group. Here is then where I would give the name to this particular class or group. So I'm just going to type in Group B. This is, if you like, just where we're setting up an empty classroom. At the moment, there aren't any students in it. So the next job that we need to do is to put some students into Group B. Over on the right, once I've selected Group B, I'm going to add or enrol new students, and I am going to select their names and then just move them across with the arrow from the right into the left so that they belong into Group B. If we go back to the groups now, we can see that we now have two groups with two sets of students in them. But this is a very long-winded way of doing it. If you want to make it easier, have a look at the YouTube Using Moodle video, a quick way of getting students enrolled in groups. OK, the next thing we need to do is to make our groupings. Groupings, if you like, are a bit like the Harry Potter invisibility cloak. When you put Group A into a grouping, no one else can see them, only the students within Group A, and vice versa for Group B. So if we click on Groupings, and then we're going to click Create Grouping, I'm just going to simply give it the name Group A only, but you can call it anything you like. Remember, this is the invisibility cloak into which we're going to put our students from Group A. So once we've saved the changes, then if we go over to the people icon where it says edit to the far right and click on that, that is how we are then going to come up with the different groups that we can choose from to put inside our grouping cloak for group A only. So I'm going to select group A, move them across with the arrow into the grouping. I'm going to go back now and I'm going to repeat exactly the same process, making a grouping cloak for Group B only and then putting the members of Group B into it. You can't do this with individual students putting them into groupings. That's why you have to create a group of your students first. We've now made two groupings, so what do we have to do now? Well, we're going to go back to the course and make sure that each of the activities that we set up for our two groups, Group A and Group B, are actually set to accept groups and to accept the grouping that we want. So I'm going to go and turn the editing on. 
and I'm going to make sure that they are accepting groups. There are two ways to do this in fact. You can just click on the person icon once you have your editing turned on and change it from no groups to groups. In this case it's visible groups. The other way is you can click on the pen and the hand icon that enables you to update an activity you've already made. If we go there now then I can show you how also we can set this Group A forum so that only Group A will be able to see it and access it. We need to scroll down to the settings for groups and groupings. You see that because I clicked the person icon it's already set for visible groups. You need to click the advanced because this is advanced moodling here and where it says grouping we're going to select Group A only. When we save and return to course you'll actually see that in grey, in brackets, after the name of the activity, it says Group A only. Only the teacher can see that. I want to do the same here with Group B, with an activity, a quiz for Group B. If I click on the pen and the hand icon again to edit this, I'm actually doing this as I update an activity I've already made, but you can set it to groups and groupings as you create the activity in the first place. Remember that we need to set Group Mode to visible groups or separate groups that we need to have the advanced setting on and then this time we're going to set our grouping for group B only to be able to see and when we save and return to course you'll see there that in brackets and grey after the name of the activity, the quiz, it says group B only. I'm going to take some time now to do the same for the other activities we have for both of our classes and then I'll get back to you. The invisibility cloak has been applied to all of the tasks now. They've all had the grouping set. So I'm going to test it out by logging in as a member of Group A, Johnny Depp in fact, and see what he can see. And if I press continue as Johnny Depp who is in Group A, you can see that the only thing that he sees is the activities in Group A. He has no idea what Group B is doing in Section 2. Now I'm going to swap over. I think Will Shakespeare is in Group B. So if we have a look at what he can see, his view is only of the activities in Group B. He doesn't know what Johnny Depp in Group A is doing at all. And that's it.